stay open. Their use violates the community improvement we expect through planning and department building and safety. They what? get cited and then it sits for weeks, the months, and years. Money. Then they file an application and again remain open indefinitely. How can we get compliance? The community fails to get the improvements the existing laws allow. Now, enforcement is needed, so businesses who do comply will not be taken advantage of. I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, one of the things that the Bureau of Investigation is, is going to do, this is a good time for me to talk about it. First off, building and safety is overworked. There's only so many people there. We have, and they have a, it's an awful large city. The only way we can act on enforcement is by if there are reports, because we have to give the other side, you know, in a criminal case, a defendant, we have to give them Brady material. That means the evidence that's against them, so they can build the case and defend themselves. So we have to give them that information. So we have to have a case put together to show what the violation is, how it was committed, who committed it, when it was committed, all the discoverable material. You know, and so there's only so many people that can put that together. And now we're going to put together a bureau of investigation. And each of these branch offices throughout the city are going to have investigators so that when those complaints come to our office, that these investigators can help the building and safety, help LAPD, help the inspectors that are out there putting, bringing these complaints forward, put these cases together to get them to a city attorney so that we can file those cases. It's not because we don't want to file them. It's that there's so much work to do in this city People are being furloughed. Let me just tell you, we're furloughing people in this city now. I, my secretary was off today on a furlough day. We're furloughing people in the city, so if you think we're going to become more productive now, we're going to become less productive because now, two days a month, people who are doing exactly what you want us aren't coming to work. But if I prosecute somebody, I've got to be prepared to take that case to court and try it with you on a jury. And you're going to say, who put this case together? There was no evidence. <laughs> right? Got to win. And you went away. Got to win. The question concerns a vote that the city council just took recently to, to um, raise the fees to challenge uh, building and safety, uh, to, to, for a building and safety appeal from about $360 to about $6,200. And it was done without public input. And the question is, I know your role is to represent the city council, well, what role do you think the city attorney has to uh, protect the people of the city of Los Angeles and to provide open government and to ensure people? You're right. You're right. Um, I got an email today on the list of the appellate fees um, from the surrounding cities. Nobody's at six thousand dollars. Let's assume that uh, in my little neck of the woods. Uh, they issued a permit to build a monstrosity next to my house, and it was going to cost me six grand uh, to appeal the decision to do that. You know, that's a chilling effect on my little budget. You know, I don't know if I can afford that six thousand dollars when I got a kid in college and, and another daughter that's uh, just had a baby, and I'm trying to help them out and they're trying to get started in their life. Uh, you know, I understand the constraints of families. There's a letter on my desk right now that I'm going to send out. I just walked over there to ask. I can't talk about it. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, I, I can tell you that I'm not happy, but I'm not a policymaker. I enforce laws. I don't write them. Do you enforce the Constitution? You know, you know look at, uh, uh, yeah, it's a representative form of government. And your representative is the one that you should be talking to. 